was not for St. John's, I would not be living my purpose. So I moved to the Cary Raleigh area to be a part of basically a ministry with a different church. And so I wasn't really looking for a church. I saw a, um, uh, an event on Facebook about uh, COVID vaccinations. So I, I showed up at Maywood, got my first vaccination. I like connected with St. John's MCC. Thought, oh, maybe I need to check this church out, see what's going on. And so I didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, came back for my second shot. And I either grabbed a flyer or a postcard or something that had the website on it. And so I got to looking at the website and saw um, that St. John's was really involved in doing stuff for the community. I liked seeing that there was the food pantry and there was meals program and there was a couple other things on the website. And so I uh, looked at it and there, there was this cute little button there that said, plan your visit to St. John's. And so I thought I was gonna click on it and it was just gonna tell me like, this is our dress code, this is when our services are, uh, you know, simple little things like that. This is where we're located. And the next thing I knew, I got a text message from the pastor saying, hey, looking forward to seeing you at church this Sunday. I went, okay, well, I didn't really commit to coming to church this Sunday, so I actually responded back um, and said, uh, hey, this is really cool that I got a response back so soon. However, I'm not really sure if this is really the pastor or if this is just a robot responding to me. And uh, so got a couple more messages from the pastor. A couple of Sundays later, I ended up showing up uh, listened to his message, uh, really liked his focus on Jesus and really following the teachings of Jesus. And I also think that one of the things that really stood out to me the most in that message was when Pastor Vance said, church is not what you do on Sunday, it's what you do the rest of the week. And I have pretty much for a very long time been looking for a church that was focused on Jesus and what Jesus taught us and also focused on the fact that for me, church is so much more than Sunday. And that's kind of what I got from all my studies around Jesus and his teachings. And so St. John's just kind of resonated with me and so I started coming and getting involved with different things at the church. So what kept me coming back was uh, I attended church on Sundays for a few Sundays, our Wednesday stuff that we had going on, and uh, basically had a couple meetings with the pastor, talking to him about uh, why I originally came to this area, which was only about three years ago, and that I you know, really wanted to be involved. Just going to church and attending Sunday wasn't really what I was looking for. I already had that, if that's what I wanted. And so I had a meeting with him on a Wednesday, and it's kind of a funny story, but the Tuesday night before, I really kind of yelled at God and Jesus and said that, you know, I wandered through the desert for two years. It's kind of the two year lockdown period that we had from COVID and I didn't plan on doing 38 more. So he brought me to Raleigh for a reason and I wanted to know what it was and he needed to come up with an answer soon. And so I showed up that next day, Wednesday, for my meeting with Pastor Vance and he immediately rolled into Travis, I'm really glad you're here. Our person that was managing our food pantry and our Mills program has had to leave the state to take care of her elderly parents. Do you want this job or this ministry? And honestly, I kind of sat there and I didn't feel like I could say no because I had just yelled at God the night before about having a purpose. And the very next day, God gave me a purpose. And being at St. John's and doing that, and that ministry kind of rolled into me managing the white flag shelter this past winter and at the end of the white flag shelter my role kind of transformed and from shelter manager 
over to being full-time case management with St. John's. So that's kind of what keeps me here. You know, one of the things that um, I think has really hit for me big time with being at St. John's and especially having Pastor Vance not only as my pastor but mentor and boss is he is very big on the term and practice of hospitality and pretty much every day I have to learn that um, more and learning to be um, a better Travis than I was the day before a little bit more uh, facing different situations and um, really being able to um, ask myself what would Jesus do um, how would Jesus handle this situation if it was presented to him and really practicing um, the art of hospitality and welcoming folks in no matter what their story is or what their situation is and and being able to breathe into the moment and um, help them to connect with whatever it is services or prayers or whatever really that they need to help them with what they're going through at the moment and we, we talk about this a lot here is last winter when we were doing the white flag shelter and there's days that the shelter wasn't going to be open, but it was still extremely cold outside. And I do not think that there was a day that went by that driving home, um, I did not cry driving home, knowing that I was going to go home to a warm house and a comfortable bed and plenty of food, and I was leaving someone else outside. My heart has changed tremendously since being at St. John's. Um, it has changed with having Pastor Vance drill hospitality into me and what that hosp hospitality actually means. If you're going to come to St. John's and you want to make this your church, um, be prepared because God will find you a purpose here. Um, and between that and if you tell Pastor Vance that you want to get involved, um, it will happen and you will have a purpose at St. John's. And I guess, so my memory, um, one, I think I have, I have multiple memories, but one would just be that Sunday um, where Pastor Vance said, church is not Sunday, it's what you do the rest of the week. Um, and then actually seeing that St. John's practiced that. It was not just something that was said in the pulpit. Um, St. John's is, is action in words. And so between that and just, you know, just all the memories, it seems like I've been at St. John's for years and I've really only been here for a little over a year um, because I kind of jumped into the deep end very quickly. Um, it's, it's just the, the fact that this is a church that if you want to get involved and you want to do Jesus' work, you can do that here.